Hi there, so in today's video on barriers to effective studying, we're going to look at something called the Dunning-Kruger effect. And the Dunning-Kruger effect is something that is really important for you to understand if you want to study effectively. And that's because it relates to an error in your ability to accurately perceive how much you know or how competent you think you are at doing something. The Dunning-Kruger effect was originally discovered back in 1999 in a series of studies by David Dunning and Justin Kruger. And they were interested in comparing people's perception of their level of competence to objective measures of their actual competence. And of course, you would hope that perceived competence and actual competence would correspond. But the findings of these studies suggested that's often not the case. And unfortunately, it's often the least competent people that have the most inflated perception of their level of competence. Now, what this means for you when you're studying is you shouldn't rely on intuition or a hunch about how much you know about something. And that's because it's precisely when you're the least knowledgeable that you are the most likely to have an inflated view of how much you know. The way to overcome the Dunning-Kruger effect is to make a resolution that you won't rely on hunches or intuition engaging how much you know on a topic, but rather you'll test yourself. Try and remember the mantra, it's not what you think you know that counts, it's what you can prove you know. 